Yes, uh, quickly, I'll just say that, uh, you know, we are excited uh, as a program, as a team, uh, to have uh, Taylor's leadership and uh, him coming back to uh, finish his career in Michigan. Uh, I think you heard from him, unless you've been in this football program or understand uh, what Michigan means, uh, you make the decision that you make like he did. So uh, we're excited and uh, uh, we have high expectations and that will never change and high expectations uh, that he understands and that uh, uh, he will help us uh, keep achieving. Brady, you've known Taylor for a little bit now. How, how has he matured the last couple of years? Um, I, I think, you know, from the standpoint of how he approaches every day, I think how he approaches uh, every week. And um, when you, you look at it from a football standpoint and the standpoint of uh, himself uh, preparing, I think uh, that's probably been something that you've really noticed. I think. Uh, how he communicates with his teammates and uh, how he sets a bar that's pretty high that uh, we all uh, want him to do and expect of him to do. Uh, right, Mike? Ready? Were you surprised that Taylor decided to come back? <coughs> no. Why, why? I mean, you kind of hit it out, but why were you not surprised? Because uh, this team's important to him. And, uh, you know, he. Uh, he did all the right things when you go through the evaluation process, when he can, you know, consult it with folks uh, that are important in his life and important to him. Uh, I just think he loves his teammates. And there's a closeness there. And, you know, like he said when he told the team, uh, uh, we'd have a team meeting and he'd ask me if he could talk to his teammates. and. Uh, the reaction that he got uh, about staying tells you that uh, there's a bunch of guys in that room who have a lot of respect. You were going to have to fashion an offensive line whether he stayed or whether he, he left. Mm -hmm. How essential or how much easier will that be with him in there, not only as your left tackle, but as somebody that is working with these younger guys? You know, John, I think uh, the experience, uh, that he's gained, uh, the number of games, the number of snaps. Uh, fundamentally, and, and from the technique, and then also uh, the maturity that, that he has shown, I think is something also that he can bring to uh, one of those young guys or two of those young guys when you look at how fast they have to mature. And I think when you've lived it and you've been through it, I think it's a little easier. Did Taylor come to you for any guidance in making this decision at all? No. No. We, 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 we talked about, you know, uh, a little bit of how to go about it, but maybe things to think about. Uh, just, I guess, more things that he ought to be thinking about. Great. Really, um what kind of message do you hope this sends to, you know, other guys that are in his same shoes at Michigan, you know, that have a chance to be a first round pick and make millions and come back for another season? You know, I, you know, I think it's a strong message. I think uh, the one message that Taylor and I talked about and he mentioned to me uh, early was uh, offensive linemen here, they stay. And there's been a tradition of that, you know, with, Jake and Jansen, and you can go back through it, Hutch and, and all those guys. And so I think that's all something that's part of it because uh, uh, the, uh, the depth of the linemen that have played here and to be uh, a guy who's mentioned with those guys is important.